Okay, we talk about the dealer markups. We're talking about finance reserve and the fact that we, the customer is actually going to be quoted an interest rate and the dealership may receive some sort of compensation for obtaining the financing on their behalf. This gets to the question, Sherry, that we started with very early on with the whole menu selling approach and how we're handling F&I and some of the questions that we talked about earlier as part of your documentation and paperwork, LJ. What we have to make sure we do is, first of all, set some sort of reasonable cap on what that's going to be. Now, we don't have to have a mandated cap, but I think everyone, is, everyone that's looked at this has determined that probably two to three points is, is fair or is reasonable. They may get a question at five or six percent. So the first thing would be is what is the markup, what is the finance reserve amount that's involved, and is that appropriate? Outside of it being appropriate, if it is there, how is it disclosed, if at all, to the customer, and how is this included in the F&I process? If I've structured my F&I presentation in the appropriate fashion, I've got the correct documents completed in the right fashion to be able to sell and finance the car, then I shouldn't have these issues. If I don't, or if I have some sort of training that's put in place or some sort of documentation on the menu that creates a false impression as to what's happening, then I'm going to have additional exposure along those lines. 